You good dungus! I had something fun planned for this week, but this smelly egg totally landed on my doorstep and it has just dominated my week basically. And it's now turned from a freak occurrence into something that's, uh, I don't know, almost monthly regular. Currently it's weekly regular, I'm having trouble with this. So, boring context time. I live in Australia, and a lot of these cool funky collectibles come from the UK and the US. It's just how it is, there's just not many Aussies to sell these to, so not as many of them came over here, or if at all in some cases. And to send stuff out of the UK and the US, there is heaps of customs forms, all sorts of stuff. So what eBay's done to help make it a lot easier is they got this eBay global shipping whatever, where what you do is you send it to their central location in Kentucky in the US, I forget where in the UK. Usually they'll open up the package, verify it, and then they handle the shipping to me. So they do all the customs, all the rubbish and stuff. So, enter victim number one. Uh, this is a little bit before I actually started this channel and I was just getting into the real weird iPods, you know, the Firewire ones. Ah, oh, that's so weird, I love it. I'd never had these before. I'd never even seen one in person. They're just not common at all. I found one in the US for a price that I really liked. It was in awesome condition. The humongous fees and shipping to get it over here. eBay's global thing is actually quite expensive because you got to pay for shipping twice, right? To the facility and onwards, and ah, import taxes, it's heaps. But I got it, <laughs> oh, God. damn it. So at the eBay site in Kentucky, they decided to open this up just with a box cutter, shunk, and just look at that. Through the wheel, through the button, just absolutely sharted this thing. This isn't actually the back that it came with. This one, I tried to use it for a little bit, but it turned into a parts pod because no amount of sandpaper and brasso can fix that. And you know, you can feel it in the... It's just so carelessly destroyed. Uh, yeah, I got my money back and such, but then the next cheapest one that I could find was in way worse condition. You know, this is the back from that. Uh, my experience doing iPods was actually flicking them and selling them on eBay. I bought this big lot of bits and components and whatevers. For the money, it had all the parts that I needed. It looked like great value. And so this one actually came from the UK through their eBay global shipping whatever thing. It's the only other country that's got it. And um, so what these people proceeded to do was just empty all the contents out, go, oh no, there's no drugs in here. Then scrape it all back in the box and just send it straight on to me. This is how the box arrived. It's been ace ventured to my door. I'm not even getting, look at it. And then you open it up and it's just, <laughs> You couldn't be more careless if you tried. Ta everything was taken out of its paper sleeves and separators and things. And then at the bottom of the box was just the, the gravel, the technology sand. Where do you think the parts came from to make this? Why I was so surprised that this thing actually booted up at all. <laughs> and this has been playing up in previous videos actually and people have suggested maybe it's got motherboard damage. Well, when you see the swamp that it was conceived out of, you can see why, I mean, yeah. I'm sure this has motherboard damage. So, this one happened only last week. Getting into these old iPods, especially the first ones, got me thinking about what were the devices that came before the iPod. I mean, this isn't the first MP3 player. This is, you know, probably about three or four years into the game this was. So there was a fleet of freaks and misfits that just didn't work out, just didn't capture people. I love these freaks, look at this. <laughs> Funny story, Samsung actually made this and then Creative just put a branding on it. There you go, kids. That's before USB. <laughs> Serial. If you ever complain about how slow your Wi-Fi is, give Serial a go. Freakish. <laughs> 32 megabytes. Look at this card. It's like out of Halo or something. Beautiful. So what I found was Intel made an MP3 player. Everyone had their hat in the ring. And I found it new in its box. It was all complete. It was a price that I was like, okay, cool, no worries. Like, it just looked like heaps of fun to pull apart and laugh at and whatever. And um, I was trying to um, reveal the label underneath. Yeah, this came from Kentucky. So what happened to this one? The old slash and dash? So what happened was that it got to the facility. They opened it, right? And they took it out of its box as well to make sure. And then what they did was then throw the box away. I'm, I'm not lying. This is all that arrived. <laughs> oh, God. Unbelievable. And then like, it's so unfair on the seller because I'm like, yeah, hey, 
Uh, do you still have the box for this? I have had cases where people have gotten rid of the packaging to save on shipping, but you know they didn't do this. And sure enough, the seller got back to me to confirm that, yep, they threw away the box. So yeah, thanks. I, the box is half the fun. I don't need a space nugget and crappy headphones. But boy, oh boy, this doesn't compare to what just landed on my seat this week. Damn it. This one needs a little bit of backstory. So, people ask, why do I like iPods? What's the big deal? My actual expertise is as a musician. So since the age of nine, music's been really important to me. And in my high school days, the fourth gen was, I just lived out of this thing. I didn't have a lot of money, so I picked it up secondhand from like pawnbrokers and whatnot. And my, the price that I was dipping in, it just came with the iPod, a cable, and all the scratches. Mate, those were free. I was studying music at school and then studied music afterwards. I keep all my exam music on this, you know, so it was with me in the practice room. It was with me in the exam. You know, it genuinely came with me everywhere. But because I was buying them with musician scrub money, I'd never seen the box for one of these. Never, I never knew what they looked like. So I found it for a good price. I liked it. I saw it even with the crazy price of eBay's global whatever and all the taxes. I wanted it, <laughs> oh man. And I've just gotten off the phone with eBay to get my money back for this. This is the worst one. Straight away, that's immediately what I see. Look at that, the old slash and dash, mate. Ugh. Look at that, Pitney Bowes, Mark of the Beast, Kentucky, because eBay's made it so only Pitney Bowes handles all of their eBay global whatevers. You know, this is there's Kentucky, this is the bag that was shipped to them, and this is how they decide to open investigate it. Cut, 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 look at that. Look at that, it's so careless. Unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely shattered. I only looked in the box to verify that it was the fourth gen I was waiting on. And then I was gonna do like an awesome unboxing video because I'd never seen inside one of these. This is complete, it's all in there. But instead of unboxing it for you guys, I had to unbox it just to show you how absolutely destroyed it is. Look, through that as well, both sides. How hard do you have to cut? Even when I picked it up in this bag, you can feel that there's something light and cardboardy in there. There she is. Oh man, you know, this is stuff I didn't, you know, all the documentation, the Apple stickers are still there. So yeah, you know, I get my money back and all that, but I really hunted for this one. It was, the price was so good. And it's, it's like someone pooing on your birthday cake, leaning over and going, well, just eat around the poo. There's no poo on those bits. And maybe he's right. But the word here is just spoiled, absolutely spoiled. And so carelessly as well. If they just, you know, one cut in the top and then just tear it open, none of this would have happened. Same way if Uncle Kevo would just squatted two feet the other way. And all of these, come from the Kentucky site or that one UK one. And I'm just showing you the worst examples of stuff that's coming genuinely like, oh my gosh, that is careless. I've had some of them come in where they've been repackaged so awfully, I can't believe it arrived in one piece. I've had stuff that looks like it's been sat on, you know, where it's been all torn out. I've talked to eBay about this, wondering what's going on, and all of them respond with, oh, I've never heard of this before. But then if I do my research, look, there's people complaining about the old slash and dash. Um, uh, what's a positive I can finish with? Um, the box is smaller than I thought, which means it will fit in the bin easier. All right, that's the, that's the happy ending. <laughs>